Welcome to our auto stem tutorial on the dancing doll. First of all, we show all the different parts that you're going to need to make your doll, including the template that you have printed out from the template on the website. Obviously, we cut out those shapes that we're going to form into the actual doll. And we form the cone and then we have to stick the cone, which is going to be the dress and the head onto the skewer. Now, this is not a, a very easy operation. It's quite fiddly. Um, so we're showing all the way through on this. But first of all, we've stuck the cone, the dress, and then we put some glue for the head. At this stage, we haven't painted it, though we did, in this instance, put a little button on the doll. And that just needs to be held down for a while till it sticks. Next, we make the holes in the box. We're going to need three holes, one larger one on the top for the straw and two on either side for the skewer, which will hold the gear. We do this the usual way, make an initial hole and then widen it with, we're using a pair of scissors just to widen that up to the size of the straw to make it too big. We then measure a five centimetre piece of the straw, which is going to go through the top hole. It doesn't have to be perfectly accurate, but then it's a nice measuring exercise for the children. That's stuck with a bit of glue around the edge and then pushed through into that top part of the box. It doesn't have to be any particular depth up or down to about halfway. Now we make the holes in two plastic bottle tops we're using here. You could use cardboard. Uh, don't make those holes too big because you do need to have quite a tight fit on the skewer. Now we're actually going to assemble all the parts and here we've put the uh, skewer through the bottle top and then placed it into place. You don't have to be accurate at this stage. That will come once we put the second piece, as you can see we're doing here, through the top. And at this stage, we will then line them up and it takes a little bit of trial and error to get the final space right to get it to work. We've just put a couple of pieces of cork on either end of the uh, handle skewer just to give us a better purchase and stop it moving. And here we go with the dancing doll dancing away. Thank you for watching our tutorial.